This is a video relating to the Behringer Xair XR18 mixer and shares some best practices regarding networking. One of the first things you notice about the XR18 is that there's no sliders and dials like you would have on a traditional mixer, which allow you to control the level and the EQ and all of the various settings that you would want to set for each individual channel. In order to make those changes, you need to connect to a device, a computer, a phone, uh, or a tablet. And there's three basic ways that you can make that connection, Ethernet, Wi-Fi client, and access point. This video is going to be about those three various ways to connect, the advantages and the disadvantages of each of them, and then I'm going to share with you what I think the best way to connect is. The first one that we're going to look at is access point. This allows you to connect the mixer directly to a device with the built-in wireless connection inherent in the router. And using this method, you can connect up to four devices. You flip the switch to the right for access point and up to four laptops, phones, tablets, or any combination thereof can connect without any other infrastructure. So even if you're in the middle of a park, as long as your mixer uh, has power, you're good to go. Uh, one thing to note is you don't want to try this for the first time when you only have the access point uh, to get set up. You want to make sure that you're on a, a direct cable connection with a computer uh, to make sure that the access point has the wireless password that you want and that your uh, mobile device or, or laptop is easily able to connect uh, before you're in a situation where you have no other options to connect other than access point. That can be problematic. The next method of connecting is through a router, and this is Wi-Fi client, which is the middle uh, switch position. The mixer connects to a Wi-Fi router, the device connects to a Wi-Fi router, and then the device connects to the mixer through the router. So this is very useful when you're in a building and you know what the Wi-Fi password is and the Wi-Fi signal is consistent and strong and you don't worry that the Wi-Fi is going to drop out. So connecting in this way, uh, any computer that you connect is going to connect through Wi-Fi, any device you connect is going to get connect through Wi-Fi, and if your Wi-Fi connection isn't secure, you do need to be careful about this because if you lose your connection via Wi-Fi, even for a few seconds, uh, that can uh, interrupt your connection and it can take 10 to 15 seconds in the best circumstances to reconnect uh, in that situation. The advantage is that you can connect more than four devices uh, and your range is going to be significantly further uh, depending on how good your Wi-Fi signal is. So there are times when Wi-Fi client is going to be your best option. If you're a long way away from where your mixer is positioned, then going through the Wi-Fi router can be advantageous. The third uh, method of connection that we're going to look at is Ethernet. This is when you have a direct cable connection uh, from the mixer to a computer. It's the left uh, position on the switch. And it's the most secure way to connect. You've got that cable running between the mixer and the computer. No chance that you're going to lose uh, your Wi-Fi and not have control over your board for a period of 5, 10 seconds, maybe even a minute uh, before you can get connected again. So what I often would do uh, before I found my favorite way to connect is to do access point or Wi-Fi client before my event started to do setup because then I could have multiple devices getting everything set up the way it ought to be and then during the event flip over to ethernet so that i had a direct cable connection uh, and had the security of knowing that my device was never going to be uh, disconnected other than if there was a complete power outage finally we come to my favorite and preferred way of connecting uh, this device from ethernet to a router via a switch so what you're going to do is come out of the Ethernet port with a cable, run that cable into a network switch. And this is an inexpensive device. You, I found one for $15 uh, from a computer store uh, that had five uh, ports on the switch. You connect the mixer to the switch. You connect as many computers as you can manage to the switch. And then you connect the switch to the router, all via network cable. Then you've got a situation where if the connection to the router ever fails, your mixer is still connected to the switch and so are the computers, and so they can all talk to one another regardless of the fact that they're no longer connected to the internet. 
But if the switch is properly connected to the router, then other devices can access the mixer through the router. So you have the advantage of the secure cable connection and the advantage of being able to connect wirelessly all at the same time. Now, I wish I could tell you the name of the person whose blog I was reading when I discovered that this was a possibility, but unfortunately, I didn't take note of that person's name when I read it. I was so excited that I had found this way to connect that I rushed to uh, get this uh, tried out. And unfortunately, I didn't write down the name of the person and I haven't been able to come across uh, that blog again. But whoever you are who wrote that blog that gave me this idea, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish that the Behringer documentation and videos were better, uh, but that's partly why I'm making these videos to spread the news that this is an option. This is the way to connect. So to go over all this again with a little diagram, your XR18 connects to the switch. Your computer or computers connect to the switch. Your switch connects to the Wi-Fi router, and then your Wi-Fi router connects to phone and tablet, and all of these devices can all simultaneously connect to the XR18. So in my setup, uh, I've got an XR18 connected to a switch, connected to two computers, connected to the Wi-Fi router, and so both computers and any devices that connect to that Wi-Fi router are all able to control the XR18 simultaneously. This gives you all the advantages of a wired secure connection to multiple computers and the advantage of being able to connect with wireless devices anytime you want. I highly recommend that this is the way that you connect to your XR18. All of the useful content in this video has now been communicated and if you want you can move along. But before I go I did want to take a moment to say thank you uh, to my subscribers. I have subscribers now. Uh, when I first started creating these videos, it was for uh, a church that I was helping to uh, get a soundboard installed at. And I thought that I would make uh, these videos that I was making for them more widely available so that it was a, a resource to anybody else who might find it useful. To make a video uh, that you just send out into the ether, not knowing if anyone else is going to care or notice, uh, there's a particular level of thought that you put into it. And the more that people have clicked on the subscribe button, the more that I've thought that the next video that I put out has to be good uh, in a way that I just never considered was really necessary before. So hopefully you found this video informative, entertaining, uh, perhaps, and useful, most of all. That's what I'm aiming for. To all the people who have clicked subscribe and will continue to do so, thank you.